challenge. Every job's a challenge, but this one has a wire pull challenge. And as I'm here at the solar array, it's hard to give it a visual, but the house is way up there from this perspective. We've run our pipe. I tried to dig it as smooth as possible. We're gonna pull, pull in. So we're gonna vacuum a pull string in, hopefully here. And to run this vacuum out here without any power, I'm using my EcoFlow Delta solar generator. Runs that rigid shop back. And then my other gizmo today is this new thing. I was uh, thinking, how can I just, without making it so complicated with pulleys and such, and I didn't have time to, well, nor did I want to spend $5,600. So I took a worm gear, it's a worm gear boat winch, winch. <laughs> and uh, um, it is four to one ratio. So I have like 3,500 pounds of pulling force. And then I've got the Milwaukee whole hog with a serious battery on here. So I could sit here all day and pull in with enough force to break everything. Yes! Anchored to, anchored to the dually. We're gonna pull, we're gonna pull this wire over to mountain today. Anyhow, we're getting set up to do a serious wire pull. And uh, on the other end, I'm gonna use my mini excavator and I'm gonna squeeze a pipe and I'm gonna position it, you'll see, at the right angle to help the entry into our pull box. So it's uh, excavator on one end, whole hog on the other, and we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. We're, and if it doesn't work and I break everything, we'll put a pull box in the middle. I just, uh, here comes Johnny in a white whale. So hopefully he got our supplies we need at the supply house this morning. And that's it. All right, we just uh, pulled our string in. That like took no time at all. Sorry I couldn't film you because I was talking to somebody on the other side. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna put the mule tape on and hopefully put a little lube on it going back up to Abraham, who's quite a ways away. Let's get this. At least we know our pipe is together. All right. We're done. <laughs> We're gonna pull some wire. We're gonna throw everything we have at it in a haphazard way. No. Yeehaw! Johnny, he's just saying no, but it's gonna be done. Look at the VIO 35 just being a good pulling jig today. One for you, Avi. Thanks, we gotta pull 800 feet. We had a little problem with the full pull, to be honest. Just too much friction on this mega pull so we're doing a pull box halfway in between but i just had to try it busted the pull string so we're gonna do 400 400 or close enough and uh some splicing that's just the way it is argue about that electricians on youtube you just keep going as many as you want. Let's not add any more. We need a couple of more wires in there. We need three inch pipe. Stop the pipe. It's the angle of the dangle. <laughs> that ground too? Wow, you're real classy, man. Don't need that. For that guy, huh? That's high dollar. Let me see that daisy chain. Look at that. Show him, show him the daisy chain. He's a weaver. And then you're gonna weave it? Dude, you're a real pro, man. Yeah. He's a pro. It's beautiful. How many wires have you pulled, Abe? How many feet of wire you pull? What's your lifetime pull count? It must be, it must be up over a million by now. Over a million feet. 40 million, I don't know about that. I like to solder all the copper together. Well, that's a good way to make a good connection. Yeah, it's not hurt at all. Not the I've seen a lot of that. What's the next move? Well, then I take the lead wire and I like to wrap that around the pull. And you get a little tape involved in the situation? Yeah, then I'll, I'll take these other leads coming off of here and I'll kind of wrap them around too. 
so I get some good physical contact as I proceed along. And then, shameless plug, I will start pinching a little, pinch it low. Then I'll start taping. And then the tape comes. He's a one man show. Would you consider this like the Zen of the pole? The Zen of the pole? Yeah. Oh I just, I just, you know how disaster, all you electricians you guys getting out there. getting closer to Asheville, start talking funny. Uh, it's a disaster when you, when you're pulling on something and all of a sudden it just Employees. lets go and you don't got what you need and you're like, oh no. Well, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. So you, you did that in Michigan. The, yeah. The, well, I used the finger trap. That's when your wife hits you with a purse. I used the, uh, I used the Chinese finger trap. I tried to get away from the daisy chain, but you improperly used the finger trap in my life. It was easy. Next victim. We're uh, set up to do the second stage of our pull. It's really safe. And um, these guys are always worried about safety, which I'm glad for, because yeah, I'm not. As you sit in the excavator. And uh, I'm keeping them safe. Let's see old Yan Ma. I gotta give her a name. What am I gonna call her? So we are pulling okay. in the next 400 feet. How about call her yet? And we're gonna put a here, pull box Thank junction you. here oh, that we're gonna bring up out of the ground. And it's going to be in that box right there. Oh, I know what you can call you. And we're going to put some strut on each side. And we'll be uh, good. And we're going to try to pull it in with... Um, I just have to use my little gizmo, even if it breaks something. Sorry for the bad footage before. Just wanted to show you that it was successful. It's kind of a capstan puller uh, improvised. We pulled our wires in. Uh, these are a little over 400 foot on this pull of number six. And uh, just able to put my the whole hog on there. I brought the big battery so it would last. Wore out the, wore the gears in. She's broke in for sure. Um, but with the right amount of pressure, like Antonio was holding, it was great. The cool thing is, if once it gets harder and harder, we don't bind it, it'll just slip, and that keeps us from breaking mule tape. This is four to one, so it was really slow. I figured it was like four seconds a foot, and they were really whining about it on the other end. But you know, you can't please everybody. All I know is that was the easiest wire pull I've ever done because I'm usually the fat walrus on the anchor end pulling it in. <laughs> 